Christine Garrow, and this is an episode of Kids Grab and Go. This is an opportunity for you to come to the Bettendorf Public Library and pick up a bag of supplies to make a fun new craft each month. For the month of September, we are making straw rockets. You can come into the kids area and get your grab and go bag after Labor Day. We have made 250 bags, so come get yours while supplies last. I've got my bag here, so let's see what's inside. I have the written instructions, which you can use along with this video to complete this project. I also have three different pieces of paper. One is rectangular, one is a small circle, and another is a very long oval shape. And of course, I have a straw for my straw rocket, and a glue stick. So now that we have all our supplies, let's make our project. Okay, for our first step, we're gonna take our rectangular piece of paper and we are going to roll it around the straw. It doesn't have to be super tight, so you don't have to worry about that. Just make sure that you wrap it all the way around and you just keep going. Once you get close to the end, then we're gonna need our glue stick. So we're gonna put glue all along this edge and you can put quite a bit there just to make sure we get enough to hold it in place. And then we're gonna roll it the rest of the way. And then you can kind of hold it still for about 20 seconds, just to make sure that it stays together. All right, now that we have that glued, we can glue on the two other pieces of our rocket. Uh, for this circle, you can just fold it in half, just like that, just fold it in half, just like that. And then put glue on one side. So I'm just gonna put it on this side and one half. And then we're gonna stick it on the end, and you can pick whichever side you want to be the end of the rocket. And again, you might have to hold it down just for a little while to make sure that it stays. Last of all, we're gonna put some glue in the middle of our oval. And right where the circle is, we're going to stick the oval on the bottom of our rocket. Seems good. Now this is the hardest part. We're gonna fold over the other end, the opposite of where you've um, put the other pieces of paper, um, so that no air can get out of this end. So this part can be a little tricky because it's several layers of paper. So you will wanna put plenty of glue kind of right here in between. And again, you just wanna hold it down long enough that it's gonna stay put. Um, once you think you've got it pretty well stuck together here at the end, uh, you're ready to fly your rocket. So I'm gonna show you how to do that by first showing you that um, when you put the straw inside, you don't wanna actually put it all the way to the top of the rocket. You wanna leave a little bit of room so that the air can come out in the rocket. And then you're gonna blow on this end and that's gonna make the rocket fly. We hope you enjoy making your own straw rockets. For the month of October, we will be making coffee filter bats. So until then, bye.